world's in trouble right now. Have you thought about going vegan? What? Why? Going plant-based is the number one thing you can do to take care of yourself. Bro, there's a deadly virus taking over the world right now. How would staying away from that not be the number one thing you can do to take care of yourself? I don't know. The vitality boost you get from plant-based algae superfoods is pretty robust. The superfoods are $49 a pop. People can't afford that. There's 36 million people unemployed right now. The economy's ruined. Parents are struggling just to put scraps on the table for their kids. I would argue taking care of your health is the best investment of all. Don't be so insensitive to all the people struggling right now. Your superfood privilege is kind of offensive. Uh, well, there's other things like going vegan means you're saving the lives of innocent animals. Bro, police are killing black people in the streets all over the place. And you crusading for animal rights while ignoring the inhumane treatment of black people makes you sound racist. Well, I'm not. I think you are. I'm not. I, I just think animal lives matter too. And Let me stop you right there. Your animal lives matter propaganda is you being complicit with a systemic racism that's a disease in our country. Black lives matter. Well, I know they do, but I just think animal lives matter too. You using your little plant-based soapbox to stand up for animal rights, but not the civil rights of black people is you supporting systemic racism through inaction. No, it's not that. I think you're playing it safe in your plant-based crusader mission. Animals can fend for themselves. That's why they have antlers and horns. What if you found the courage to stand up for your fellow humans? That's not how I meant it. I, I love people and that's why I want to support them by teaching them how to go plant-based. We're living in the most stressful time of our generation and you want to make people worry about an ultra clean diet on top of their existing stress? Dude, don't be so selfish. It would help people. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. You need to educate yourself. You know nothing about evolutionary biology. The human organism has to prioritize safety and security needs before nutritional needs. People don't feel safe right now. They can't pay their rent. Homes are getting foreclosed. Police are brutalizing people. Bill Gates is rolling up his sleeves and there's the coronavirus. But the hypothalamus, it's part of your brain. Look into it. Uh, well, maybe, but Going plant-based means you're protecting the earth because conventional animal farming is destroying the planet. Conventional plant farming destroys the planet too. You shouldn't support either of them. Then what do you eat? Regenerative agriculture is where it's at, bro. The intentional farming ecosystem involving plants and animals actually regenerates the soil. Therefore, it's better for the planet than your plants only based farming. It actually heals the earth. But you gotta have the animals too. Dude, do you not wanna heal the planet? I just think that- Do you even care about the earth? I think I do. What's wrong with you, man? I've never heard of regenerative agriculture. How could you not know about it? You need to get informed on the three primary outdated emotionally charged talking points you have so you can help take care of our planet. It's the only one we have. Well, I- Pachi Mama. But I don't think that- It's like you would have to deliberately try not to learn about this. Probably so you can keep pretending that your all meat is factory farmed meat is an effective truth-based argument. But all the science of plant-based nutrition- That's what you've been doing. You've been deceiving people with your nutritional information because you first deceived yourself by not studying anything that doesn't confirm your existing bias. Bro, you've got to love yourself more than that. I do love myself. Mm, no, you don't. You reject people that eat differently than you, which means you first had to have rejected yourself probably by way of deceiving yourself. And that's not self-love, that's self-hate. I think you can do better than that. But, but animals have feelings, so you can't eat them. Read the book, The Secret Life of Plants. It proves that plants have feelings too. It's just they don't have a voice box or a musculoskeletal system to express their feelings like humans or animals do. So it's easier for you to pretend that they don't have any feelings. And therefore, you can more easily eat plants without being in a true state of reverence for them sacrificing their life for you. Why can't you have any gratitude? Are you saying you think being a vegan's wrong? No, it's not wrong, but veganism isn't what you stand for. It's not? Well... What do I stand for? Sounds to me like you're a virus sympathizing, ungrateful, superfood eating, systemic racism denier who likes to make light of economic hardship. Try some self-awareness once in a while. It'll look good on you. 
Okay. One love, Bob Marley, Circle of Life, Elton John. Think about it. Thanks. I will. No need to thank me. We come from the same consciousness. Can I have some of this? Sure. Mmm. That's robust. Good talk.